Okay, you'll see now on my drive, I have um, my example Chromebook inventory. I have an Excel, a Microsoft Excel copy, and I have a Google Sheets copy. We're going to work with our Google Sheets copy, so I'm going to double click it to open it up. And um, we need to first of all kind of clean this up so that we can work with it, um, make it a little bit easier to read. So I'm going to click on the number one to highlight the first row. And I'm going to make it bold. And I'm also going to increase the font a little bit just to make it easier to read. And you'll see right now like my serial numbers and my asset tags and um, things of that nature are a little bit cut off. So we want to auto fit our column width. Auto fitting is a little bit different in uh, Google Docs than it is in uh, our Google Sheets and than it is in um, Excel. What you do is you highlight. To highlight, you're going to click on the A, drag across, and release on the K. And then you're going to go to any of those lines in the middle. It, it'll work on any of them, and you'll see you'll get this little um, double-sided arrow. You're going to double-click when you're in the double-sided arrow, and it will auto-fit your columns. So you can see now I can see the serial number and all that. I'm going to do that again just to help everybody out. Just in case it's a new skill, you click the A, you drag across, and you release on the K to highlight all of your columns. Then you go to any of those um, little dividers for uh, the columns. And when you have the double arrow, you're going to double click your mouse and it's going to automatically auto fit um, all your columns. Um, the last thing that we need to do is sort the data by cart and by slot. You see here we have our cart numbers and we have our slot numbers. And we want to make sure that it's sorted. Um, I think the easiest way to do this is to, once again, um, click, drag, and release to highlight everything. You're going to go to Data, and you're going to select Sort Range. We're going to tell it that it has a header row, so you're going to click that, so it will actually give you um, the different titles of your header. We want it to sort by cart first, and then we want to add another sort column and sort it by slot. And we're going to say go ahead and sort that for us. And you'll see now I have all of cart 1, all of the slots from 1 to 30. And then I have cart 2, and it does the same for cart 2 as well. So I have all of the Chromebooks for each cart kind of sorted out nice and neatly.